thought you were dead. Why are you good? What? What? How do I have pet mole rats? God, you is ugly. We got a freaking army of mole rats right now. What's happening? Oh, what's going on, Mr. Johnny, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Campaigns, episode number spotted, spotted. 17. I think so. My hair's kind of messed up. Just took a shower, but we're going to rock with it, baby, because that's what we do around here. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. Hold on. Uh, have the courser chip analyzed. Go to the dead drop. Speak to the robot. That's for a DLC, so we can't do that. Mm. Let's think here. Let's go to... Let's go get this done, just so that we're done with this. Um, and then looking at me like that. Well, well, I guess we can. Yeah, I don't know. Not sure what I want to do yet. Actually, I think I kind of want to do some quests, some side quests rather. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out when the time comes. Pam wants to talk with you. She's in back. Okay. I don't know why I don't want I didn't mean to do that. You really walked the freedom trail. Desdemona himself. I have a report here. It reads more like a comic book. Apparently, one hell of a fight took place at Green Tech Genetics. Yeah, that was me. I took Oh, I changed my armor by the way. That's what the report says. Hard to believe. I'm all for one less courser in the world, but the conventional wisdom is that you run from them rather than engage them. So why did you kill him? I needed a courser chip. I need the code on it. You have one of their chips intact? Follow me now. Decoding a courser chip yes, is a very delicate operation. A million things can go you wrong. You got it. A lot of the least of which right is now. losing the data. Things really Fortunately, we have the right man for the job. Glad you signed on means I might get to take the occasional night off. Are you gonna- are you coming, or...? Oh, hey, Des. You need something? Tom, we got a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! You've hit the jackpot with this. Hand over the chip. Let's see what's on it. Here you go. Alright. Tom, make it happen. Alright, little courser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. We're in. Chip accessed. Just poke the analog to make it a little. What? I ain't really oh, hacking, Chido. Don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Would it kill them to let me know mission specs before oh, the dead man. trap? They've Just added more decimals once? to the last cipher. This Shut is gonna up. be... Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard. I got you. I saw for in. Come on. There's Demona. Show me this time. Come on, baby. Is someone We're gonna say time. something? Yeah, we got it. We got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for you. Just gonna wait for him to do it, huh? Tom. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not sure I'll luck will hold up next time, Des. And agent, I hope that helps you as much as you've helped us. Good work. You gotta be careful, man. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, we can't fast travel while we're in here, right? I hope so. No, we cannot. God dang it! I gotta run. Where am I even at? I don't even know where I'm at, to be honest. Get out of the way. The world's a dangerous I gotta go place this way. For anyone in my way. Uh, anyway, I changed my armor. You know that courser that we um we we destroyed in like a couple episodes ago. Yeah, I took his armor, or his trench coat, and it's a little bit better than what we have. It doesn't protect energy-wise, but the overall defense um, is a little bit better, like, by, like, plus two. And we don't even get shot by much energy, so I was like, F it, you know? Why not? What's it gonna matter? Do you know who I am? Apparently not. Also, can we make it to where games you can freaking fast travel inside buildings now, Bethesda? Because I'm tired of walking through buildings, then going all the way outside, 
and then fast traveling is let me do it in the kitchen or the bedroom or the bathroom like whenever I want to leave let me just leave it's a video game I don't need to be all freaking realistic I am thirsty okay don't mind me I gotta drink this water real quick wow some nice high quality H2O Get your organs all good and going. Alright. God. That's a... That's a walk right there. Hopefully it's daytime by the time we get over here. Ugh, okay. Let's go ahead and go up in here. Gotta watch our rads. I didn't burn... I actually, I think I have a radiation suit on me. I guess we could use it, but... Virgil. Hey, bro. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed God. to get what you need? I have the code. I have the code. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you I'm manage so hot. to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh God, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines or setting computer terminals free or... Sorry, they just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. Came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Hmm. I'm sure it'll work. For the record, I haven't made any promises. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can if you make it in there. You find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Okay, so we got some choices. Now I said this from the very beginning. I think we're just gonna go with the railroad. Um just because we've been doing it all along, and like I said before, I haven't really done like a full playthrough with them guys, so... Why not, right? Just why freaking not? So, let's go ahead and go back to the railroad again. And talk to them. Now listen, there is missions that we can do prior to doing these main missions. Boy, doesn't sound pleased. With the Brotherhood, with, we get out uh... Here. What's the other one? Minutemen? Is that what it is? Or am I an idiot? Yes. There's just other hey, ways to do it. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Hey, don't worry, I got it. So, like, there's other, like, side quests and stuff that we can do, but I'm not even gonna worry about it. Like I said before, I'm just gonna do the railroad. There's Demona. Do you need something? I just, I just don't care. That makes sense. I have plans here to build a signal interceptor that can get me into the Institute. So that's what the Courser chip was all about. You needed that frequency, I take it. Why? What does this machine do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. 
The Interceptor can hijack their signal and send me instead. We've spent dozens of years and too many good agents' lives only to discover not a goddamn thing. And now we have the answer, thanks to you. Teleportation. That the Institute could build something so... But we've got work to do. This is our top priority now. I want Tinker Tom to help you in any way possible to get this device built. Okay. Let's go talk to Tinker Tom. Hey there. Now he takes his grand old time getting up, let me tell you. Ready to hand over the plans? This is the big one. There you go. Let's see what we need. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who wrote this? Some kid with a crayon? Shit. Must have been a real big kid. Oh, man. Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves. Those Institute eggheads are crazy. And you can divert the signal using a heavily modified relay interception. L like a pirate broadcast, you know? That's intense. I knew you could figure it out, Tom. The plans cover all the high-end egghead shit, but they're missing a ton of engineering details. Filling in the gaps will take time. This bit here, the stabilized reflector platform, just needs some high-grade metal. Easy. Psh, by the time you finish that, I'll have the rest done. Nice work, Tom. Glad you're on our side. Hey, tell that to Carrington, though. We can scrounge up the platform components you need. No problem. But where to build it? It's gonna need some serious space. This baby's big. I know Pam was running numbers on a good site for a new safe house. It's got a workshop, good location, and the full blessings of her predictive algorithms. Once you set up the safe house, we'll drop off the materials there. Or you could build your own platform somewhere else. I guess. Your call. Okay. So we can actually build our stuff at Red Rocket, if that's what we want to do. So I think that's probably what we're going to do. Uh, so far, none of the stuff in, in the uh, Concord has been floating up in the air like in the previous episode, so... We should be good, but... I'm not sure yet. I'm not for effing sure. That is for sure. Um, before we do that, though, I do want to go ahead and tackle some other side quests and stuff. I don't want to do the hundred percent, but I also just I but I also would like to do as much as I can before uh, before Cyberpunk. So it's kind of like we have plenty of days. Let's put it that way. So we have so much more time to do shit. And hell, it might even be hundred percent. I don't know. Might we might just do all the quests. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm still confusion at the moment. I want to do this, but I don't want to do that. I want to do this, but I don't want to do that. It's the whole thing. Been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I don't really know what I want to do. So don't quit yelling at me. Quit yelling at me. I'm tired of it. Okay. I feel like it's been night for like 40 bajillion years. Okay. So technically... Uh, we could just build it. I don't really need to do that. Okay. Dr. Pam. Ooh. Should we do it at my house, or should we just do it there? Is the question. We go there? Let's just go there. F it. Let's just see what we can get into. If we can't build it there, we'll just go up to the sanctuary anyway. Or not sanctuary, Red Rock and do it. That's where all of our shit is anyway, so... We'll go ahead and finish it. Okay. We gotta go this way. We also need to go and do the, um, the alien spaceship that has been crashed. We can go figure that out, too. We'll have to do that one episode as well. Why is there so many... I think it's because I'm old, or I'm, I'm, uh, my level is high enough where they're going to start... Coming in. Damn it. Gee, we get it. Where does one go? Alright. Let's 
Starlight Drive-In. We can do it here, I guess. Uh, I, in a way, just want to do it at my ha at Red Rocket, because that's where we're going to have everything out anyway. Where are you at? Thank you. Jeez. Unless you're hounding for a green suntan, I suggest we get a move. I said jeez. <laughs> Let me in. I'm about to huff and puff. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Ritz crackers. Yeah, it's modded, baby. Bag of cement, chalk. Okay. So do I have shit? Cause if I don't, then we gonna be screwed. We do not, so. We do not, so, uh. So, you know. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna probably just go ahead up over here. Do red, red rocket, and, uh. Do it there, cause. Phew, you know? God, I'm tired. I woke up at freaking 5 o'clock this morning. This is the same day as episode 15 and 16. Just way later in the day. I had to like record and then I had to work and then I had. I thought you were dead. Why are you good? What? What? How do I have pet mole rats? God, you is ugly! We got a freaking army of mole rats right now? What's happening? Jesus. Okay. Let's go ahead, I guess, and build it. I think it's in special, right? Yee. Yeah. Yee, yeah, yee, yeah, yee, yeah. Okay, so we'll do... we'll put it, like, out here. Put it right in the middle. Right there. Okay, talk to Tinker Tomb. That's all I gotta do? That's it right there, huh? Just that? Then I gotta go... now I gotta waste all my time and I gotta go back to talk to him? <sighs> Making this extremely difficult right now, to be honest with you. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. Talk to this guy, then I gotta go back over here and talk to that guy, then I gotta do something, then I gotta talk to the same dude again. It's like, just let me know what I gotta do, let me just fucking do it. You know? Ugh! Crazy. Pam needs you in her room. I don't give a f I don't. I really don't. I'm gonna talk uh, to Tinker Tom. You got the platform built yet? Tick tock, tick tock. I'm waiting for the good news. I did it. The platform's constructed. And I filled in the blanks on the blueprints. We can actually build this crazy thing. The science of this monstrosity is wow. But fortunate for us, the ingredients pretty common. But there's three specialty items that I just can't grab from our safe houses. You find those, and we'll knock down the gates of hell. Build a console, build a relay dish, build a beam emitter. So telecom sites for a sensor module. Okay. Not talking to Pam, because that's... I don't care. Just don't. Personally, if I was playing my first playthrough, yeah, I'd be playing- I'd be talking to every dude, every- every woman, every child, getting every single quest, exploring every detail of this entire game, but it's not. Okay? I can't wait to show you guys how big of a freak I am on Cyberpunk. Literally, I'm, a, I'm the biggest freak you'll ever see. I mean, I'm taking my absolute effing time. Like, this will be me right here. I'll be like, okay, is there anybody in here? Nothing there. Nothing, nothing. Like, I'd be, like, going through everything. Because I'm a freak. And I'm not sorry about it, to be honest. You know, I just, 
just I just don't care. That's just how I is, baby, and that's how we playing games. So, yeah. Oh, it's finally becoming daytime now, huh? Sweet. Oh, look at that up there. That's a nice looking thing up there. Too bad I'm gonna be facing the Brotherhood in here in a little bit. Here in the next few episodes. I think what we're gonna do is... Hold on. Let me, let me, up. Uh, let me, uh, let me fast travel. Let me fast travel. Anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll just play this game, side quest, exploring, yada yada yada, two a day, one a day, whatever the hell it is. And then as soon as the 19th of November hits, which is Cyberpunk, we'll drop the final episode. Meaning that will be the last episode of the main missions. Finishing the game. So as soon as I figure out what the main mi the last main mission is, boom. We in there like swimwear, baby. Why are you always doing this? Like, you can... Like, why? You, you do it over here. Do it over there. Like... Hold on, let me get a bed going. I don't think we have a bed, do we? No. Furniture, beds... Um... I want, like, a nice mattress. Ooh, that's a nice bed right there. Let's put it in here. There. Out of bang, baby. Let's go. Okay, cool. Now we will sleep. Let's make it 6 a.m. Because, well, I want it daytime so I can see stuff. I'm tired of it being daytime and then I fast travel and then it's nighttime again. It's like, what? Where'd time go? Okay, so now we got to build all the other shizzy. So let's go over here. Special. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna put that. Hmm. Can I actually... Let me move this. Right here. Can you guys get out of the way? Like, so I can build? Or, like, do you have to be in my general vicinity? I think I might... I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Let's just put it down. Okay. And then what else do I need? Ooh, one of these. Oh, that's a big boy, huh? Yeah, that can't go in the middle. All right, we'll put it right here then. A bang. We'll put. We'll put. We'll put this. Hey, there you go. And then we'll put this. T tinker, 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 Tom. I listen. I get it, but I need that, sir. Sir. Sir, I need that. Um. Okay, hope that's good. Power. Generators. Let's do a big boy. I need rank 4 science. Get out of here. So over that. Alright, here we go. This will work. I just put it like right here. And then we'll attach a wire. Bada bing. Wait, wait. Attach wire. For most power. Oh, is it because he's on it? Because I'm gonna be pissed if it is. Talk Excuse me. Hey man, need help with the signal interceptor? This thing is gonna be huge. We'll finally learn about what the institute's really up to. Man. I could use your help finding parts for the beam hmm. emitter. We need some high tech shit for that. A military grade circuit board. Hit up any army base. That should get you in business. All along, the bastards have been okay, like, I get it. The Is there nothing they can't do? Maybe this thing doesn't need... Oh, maybe this thing doesn't need power. Let's just put this right here. Okay, cool. We'll just do another one. Okay. And then we'll attach it. And then we'll attach it. Boom. That'll work. I thought that needed power. That's my fault. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm keeping that in. Because sometimes I'm an idiot. Okay, so do I just walk in it? Do I, watch, do I just walk in that thing? Is that what you want me to do? I guess I need to walk in it. Alright, hold on. Let me freaking... Let me just save it. 
It's already been saved, but we're gonna save it again. Blue Scud do, we can too. Is this thing on? Hello? Beam me up, Scotty! Power up a signal interceptor. I had to put a relay dish down. That's why it wasn't working. But it's also because he's using this one. I know he, he's ruining it because I, I don't know what to do. Like, what do I gotta do now? I got it. Man, was I having some issues right there. I had to make sure all the wires were connected to each individual thing on the same thing. Like, you can't just have the, the, the generator just powering this and these just powering that. They all need to be connected via wire, which is dumb. I don't like that. I was so confused. Okay. There's Demona. We're here now. Status report. Figured it out. That activity does. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. What I'm about to tell you is the most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. I like the name. Sounds encouraging. There's a man or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps since escape to freedom. Dozens of synths owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. If your plan works and you're able to get inside the Institute, we need you to make contact. Okay, I'll do my best. Tom's encrypted a message for Patriot's eyes only. Once he sees it, he'll contact you. Until you make contact, and probably after, you need to stay in their good graces. You need to infiltrate them. Can you do that? Can you be our agent on the inside? Bring it on. You can do this. I believe. I hate clicking A all Stand the time, the but it's like the best one. The holotape. Just plug it into any institute terminal and wait for the reply. Tom, talk to me. Booting up the scan sequence. This frequency is only going to work once. You know who doesn't make the same mistake twice. Okay. Well, Blue's could do. We can too. Now it's gonna work. So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's only, you know, 60 trillion of them. All right. Feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Take this hollow tape. You're at the wrong one, you sir. That's not powered. Patriot. Oh, man. Uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Tom. Do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can. About synths. About the Institute's plans. Find their weaknesses. If we can disable or destroy the Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the R.L. We got it. Find a way to save them. Nobody else can. There we go. We did it. Holy poop. We did it. We effing did it. That'd be right in that computer terminal. Like, I would just be, ugh. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. You got it. Busted. Isn't this so cool? I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. 
and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean. It's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father! What's going on? What's happening? Yes. It's me. Your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door! I don't know you! Go away! Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is Father? he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. Yeah, uh... <laughs> disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Give me Sean! The real Sean! Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... Situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been... Re it's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. Man, when I first played this, whoa. Like, I was like, what the? Oh, God, just, oh, you know? It's like, what? How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. I 
I think I see where this is going. Then perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Sean. It's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just. Give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. I'm doing it. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Hmm. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was more complex than you might think. After what he's done, I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. 
It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Hmm. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. All right, guys, in the last few minutes, uh, what was it, like, last 10 minutes, maybe five, six, seven, I don't really know how long it was, um, was just literally me not talking and just you focusing on what he said, but, like, this is, like, the pinnacle of this game, because now the choices what you do in this game really matter, because now it's like you can either go with the Institute and help father or your son, and do what they want to do, or we can go to Brotherhood, we can do Railroad, Minute, maybe there, there's so many options that we can do with this game now, that I wanted you to really take in what he's saying and what he said, that way we can move forward. I want to go with the Railroad, but if you guys would rather see somebody else, or see another playthrough with like the Minutemen or whatever right now, let me know in the comments, because I would rather just do it now and get it over with, because I doubt we come back to Fall 4 later in the end in the end time and later on down the road so i think we're gonna call right here we're gonna call us right here right now a lot to take in there's still so much to do yet in this game so if you guys enjoy it make sure you guys do the youtube thing like comment subscribe and show your friends as always guys i'm just johnny i'll be talking to you guys in the next episode uh in fall four so yeah see you guys soon god i'm so tired i want to go to bed bye